For Comedy Hype News, I'm Dom Smith. Spring 2020 has been a weird time for everyone with growing concerns over the coronavirus pandemic. This week, your president Donald Trump suggested possibly infecting humans with disinfectants to kill the virus. The comments were made after the Secretary for the Department of Homeland Security, William Bryan, told reporters that there is evidence that bleach kills COVID-19. Right, and then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. Many compared what Trump said to the viral trend of swallowing Tide laundry detergents back in 2018. Since these comments were made, a bunch of comedians joined in. Some had to get their jokes off, but others were passionate in what they were saying. Aries Spears wasted no time voicing his frustrations out on IG. At this point, if you don't truly get or miss how amazing Obama was, Trump is officially the dumbest, most dangerous, disgusting human being this country has ever seen. And the sickest part about this is how his defenders will comment about how wrong I am. How much proof do you dumb Fs need? Lil Duval also had something to say and would tweet about it. So Trump recommends we inject, bleach, and dye into corona patients? Let his voters do it first. Amanda Seals also took to Twitter. Y'all's president gonna F around and have his whole base kill themselves with Clorox shots before November? Shaking my head. DL Hughley has even posted a few jokes on his IG and Donnell Rawlings was another comedian who had to let the jokes fly. They weren't the only ones who had something to say, as many online would join in on the joke. This, this is my point. You don't have to talk all the time. All the press conferences, you don't have to, you don't have to do, let the scientists and the doctors, talk, let them do this, all right? Just, just because you say too much stupid stuff, just, you don't have to say nothing at all. Don't say anything, don't show up. Go work on something else. Please stop doing that. Just getting up and rambling and saying stuff that doesn't make any damn sense at all. Now with all the chaos and after being called out, Trump has backpedaled on his statement by claiming it was sarcasm. I was asking a question sarcastically to reporters like you just to see what would happen. Interestingly enough, parody news site The Onion put out a headline that stated, Man just buying one of every cleaning product in case Trump announces its coronavirus cure. This headline was put out a month ago on March 25th, so it's funny to see that a fake news site was able to predict the future. Several doctors have warned that following through with Trump's suggestion could lead to fatal results. According to ABC News, Reckitt Benkeiser, who owns several brands including Lysol, made a public statement. As a global leader in health and hygiene products, we must be clear that under no circumstance should our disinfectant products be administered into the human body through injection, ingestion, or any other route. Which means that Lysol will not be producing chewables. Continue to stay safe. And to stay up to date with the latest news and comedy, subscribe here to our YouTube channel and follow Comedy Hype across all social media. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Dom Smith.